Hey everyone, I'm back. Mike Rondo in the Shed of Solitude. Uh, back with another pipe review. This one we're doing Capstan Original Navy Cut. And I have no idea why it's taking me so long to get to this. This is a pretty popular bit blunt brand, especially for the Tolkien fans, uh, which my daughter is. So if my daughter happens to catch this, this is in honor of her. Um, someday maybe she'll watch this. My channel's not made for kids, so... She wouldn't see this for another 10 years or so. <clears throat> but anyway, and in honor of uh, Tolkien and, you know, Lord of the Rings, I thought I would use my Church Warden, very most Gandalf-like kind of uh, pipe that I have. Oop. Don't mean to make microphone noise here, but I gotta, I gotta get my, my light. I was warming it up uh, in my jack pocket, jacket pocket here. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Popular brand. This is one of uh, Tolkien's favorites. He was a connoisseur of it. That's what I've read. Um, and we'll see. I haven't had a navy cut, I don't think, in quite a while. Um, I usually traditionally think of them as a, a good uh, winter blend, if you will. Let's see what we get here. So it's a Mac Baron blend. So naturally it's going to be good. It's like, as I've said before, the Porsche of uh, t pipe tobaccos. You know what you're getting. It's going to be good. And I don't know why. I think my lens is, uh, <laughs> it is, it's steamed up. There we go. See, I don't know if you guys can see that. That's weird. See, there's a little bit of frost around it. I had to turn the heat on <clears throat> to get the chill out of here. It's actually kind of warm outside, but the shed's got this like ice cooler thing going. But uh, let's see, what else we got? No, just Mac Baron. Um, it says uh, Virginia uh, tobaccos have been selected, blah, blah. Um, pressed into a block, cut into slices, and finally rubbed out. So, you know, not bad. Kind of tasty. Let's get that navy kind of blend going for it that that taste that note whatever that is i do love this pipe though this is a savinelli church warden i don't know i can't really see under there i don't know if i can well if i didn't like the pipe i would you know look for you but We're past that now. It's actually, uh, what is it? Almost 12 o'clock? Yeah, 12 o'clock. Still, uh, morning ish. I thought it was gonna be sunny, but it's pretty overcast, but it's warmer. And hence the vest. Not bad. I could kind of see why Tolkien would smoke this often, if not every day. It's not strong. I thought I remember Navy Blend being strong. Which one is the one that I liked that I thought was pretty strong? Was, uh, do I have it over here? Ah, sp speakeasy. That seems stronger, if I remember uh, whatever they put in that. Hold on, let's see. Let's, let me see if I can get my... Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Let's do speakeasy. I'm just curious. Because, all right, let's, let's see what it's, all right, speakeasy. So, so this has, now I'm confused, Navy Flake, Navy Blend, <laughs> you guys are going to have to coach me on this one, I, I thought it was all kind of the same, but apparently maybe not, um, so this has Kentucky, Perique, and Virginia. This has Virginia. I should really study this shit more, but, you know. Again, my reviews are, do I like it or do I not like it? I don't really get into the weeds of things, but... Well, at least with pipe tobacco. But... Um, I remember this being strong, and of course it looks it's flavored with rum, so that could be why I'm thinking that. But this is nice. I mean, it's pleasant. Uh... I can see why people like it, or it's one of their go-tos. Do you ever do that? Smoking your pipe and you miss your mouth. I usually do that with my church, church wardens. I think I can, like, line it up. I'm, like, all, like, nonchalant, sitting on the thing, like, yeah, I'm cool and a badass. And, and then, you like, right there, I miss my mouth. Oh, well. Not per Hmm. It's got this nice, mellow thing going with it. Interesting. Now, my daughter, speaking of my daughter, she's very big into Lord of the Rings, which is funny because now we do our movie nights. Typically on a Saturday, we do movie nights. We usually watch one or two. And so we decided, all right, we'll watch Lord of the Rings back in... I want to say October, September, and she fell in love with with it, which surprised me. I didn't think she was going to like it as much. But then again, she likes Star Wars. Yeah, not exactly the same thing, but, you know, she likes those adventure movies like that. Going on a quest kind of thing. And so she became a big fan. Uh, Legolas is her uh, favorite. I like Gandalf myself, but I'm not a big big into the Lord of the Rings uh, stuff. I didn't read the books till I was in my teens. Uh, I thought they were good. Not bad. I do want to get them for the library here, the Shed Library, because I think you need it for your library. It's just good to have that. Um, and I, I enjoyed the, the trilogy. It was great. It was fantastic. Uh, even The Hobbit, I liked it, even though that was kind of looked at as, you know, but I, I didn't mind it. can't hit a home run every time, right? George Lucas didn't hit a home run every time. I mean, Ewoks, need I say more? <laughs> Very unpopular opinion I had when I was doing the Star Wars podcast is I hated Ewoks, but didn't mind Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> I was looked down upon with that point of view. I can definitely recommend this blend. This is a uh, a good. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say no thrills, like uh, no frills. It's just a good, solid, enjoyable smoke. Uh, and normally, I think of like a like speakeasy. I think is a winter blend, right? And I'm gonna have to read up more on navy blend and whatever the hell that's going on there, and um, see what the real difference is. I probably won't get to it, but you know, someday I'll get there. Um, and that's really good in the winter. Like a cold, cold day, which we'll have in here in Rhode Island, I think Friday into Saturday morning, it'll be like 12 degrees, so I will not be in the shed of solitude. 
well, maybe, maybe I will, because it'll be exciting in a way, and I'll, I'll probably want to have speakeasy, because I haven't, I haven't had it in, God, I don't need, like, maybe two years, a year and a half, uh, so maybe I'll do that blend that day, I won't be making a video, uh, I'll be bundling up in here for sure. But this isn't strong like that. It's not, um, and maybe because there's perique in that and it's rum flavored and whatnot, so maybe it's more, I, I'm, I feel like I'm comparing apples and oranges here. Um, but that's really the only navy blend that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, so this is navy cut, not navy blend. So maybe that's where I'm getting things confused. Anyway, you guys will school me in the... Uh, in the comments, I'm sure. Hmm. And I did an update on the... Uh, on the blend last night. Uh, Folklore. You can see I still got these pieces out here drying out. Um, and I'll probably smoke these today or tomorrow. Um... It's not that damp anymore. It's, it's pretty good. Um, so letting that dry out and try that again, and I'll come back and do another review. Uh, this may be the last video I do till March. So I know I said I would do another one. There's probably a good chance I'll do another one maybe tomorrow or in the middle of the week, like a I'll see you guys later kind of video. Um, but this may be the last one. And if it is, I'll be back, just so you know. Probably March. Uh, I'm taking the basketball tournament off. Uh, I think that's the 17th and the 18th of March. I'll probably be back by then. But I think I'm going to be doing some uh, shorts videos. And I'll obviously, I'll engage with the community post. I'll put pictures and stuff and kind of engage that way. So, you, you know, proof of life. I'm not abandoning ship or anything like that. So, uh, don't get too nervous if you like tuning in my ch show here or whatever you want to call it. So, don't get nervous. But this could be the last video for... A couple of months I get some things to figure out uh, I get some ideas for new content coming this to this channel um, like I said I'm not I'm a kind of a free agent now I'm not involved with the podcast and network or the cantina cast uh, other than them cutting me a check at the end of the year uh, other than that that's pretty much it so I have a few ideas um, I'm kind of sorting through that I, I, you know it's like one of those things do I want a podcast do I want to podcast and do a video series or what, what else do I want to bring to this channel? Because um, I'm not sure I'm going to be doing too many pipe tobacco reviews in a sense. Uh, I think we've kind of reached the, the high point of that. And then I'll have to come up with something else with pipe tobacco. Obviously, it's a pipe channel in its truest sense, but things are going to evolve a little. Um, for my sake, I need to do something different. Uh, but I also still want to keep what we got here. I don't want to ruin what we have here because this has gotten me to where I am, right? So I got to figure all that out. So, but anyway, that's for a video for another day. Hmm. I actually got to clean up my old podcast studio, which my dog has made a, he's absolutely destroyed it. He's going to be 14, year old, 14 years old in March, and he can't hold it all day, you know, his pee and his poop, and it, has, it hasn't been lovely down there. So at some point, I'm not sure he's going to make it too much longer, and i got to retool all downstairs and make that, I don't know, we'll see what we're going to do with that. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Definitely recommend getting this. It's pretty good. It's a solid blend. I can see why everyone likes it. Well, before we go, let's see what the the rating was on, on uh, tobacco reviews here. Let's see. See if I can find it. I'm just curious. I think it would be... Oh, 3.4? I thought that would be higher, to be honest. I thought of 3.5 or 6, because it seems like a lot of people like it. 
And if you want a, a thorough review of it all, just, just see Jim Link's amazing review. <laughs> uh, well, he says he's got a fruit note. I don't detect that. Um, well, there's a lot of uh, interesting things with this one. Supposedly the 1938 version is really good. Wish I could get my hands on that. That would be interesting. I could read one of Christopher Morley, Morley's books while I did that. Or, actually, Tolkien would be more appropriate, I would think, right? Hmm. Anyway, check Jim Link's uh, review out there. It's not bad. But, uh... Definitely get it. Anyway, I'm out of here. I've taken up enough of your time. Hopefully, I'll see you guys with another video before the end of this month, uh, the next few days. If not, I will see you guys in March. You better take care. Have fun. Be safe. Definitely be safe. And hopefully, we're all not annihilated by a nuclear warhead at that time. But anyway, take care. See you guys later.